In question 25a, part 1, we have a graph of displacement against distance for a water wave. Where to give the wavelength of the wave in centimetres? Well, there are two and a half complete waves in 10 centimetres, meaning the wavelength is 4 centimetres. In this case, you can clearly see that one complete wave is 4 centimetres, but if it's a more indistinct uh, distance for one wavelength, it's worthwhile measuring as many waves as you ca possibly can to get a more accurate figure. In part two, we're to explain why the intensity of the wave will change as the distance d increases. Well, as the wave spreads, the amplitude will reduce. Intensity is proportional to the square of amplitude. Therefore, the amplitude reduces. In part b, we have two dippers on a ripple tank. For part one, where to explain what is meant by interference? Well, this is the superposition of two coherent waves. In part two, where to state and explain the type of interference occurring at point C in the diagram? Well, the path difference is 15 centimetres minus 10.5 centimetres, giving a path difference of four and a half centimetres. This is one and a half complete wavelengths. So the waves will meet in antiphase and destructively interfere.